Hi, I'm Kronos with a video on getting started with Electrum. Electrum is a piece of Bitcoin software that runs on almost any computer and it allows you to store your Bitcoins directly on the computer. It's very fast and lightweight, but it's also robust, so it's a good choice for beginners and people who are more experienced. I'd personally recommend it. In this video, we'll just walk through how to create your Electrum wallet and some of the basic steps you should take to secure it. Let's get started. Here's the Electrum website where you'll download the wallet software. You'll see the address is electrum.org, E-L-E-C-T-R-U-M dot O-R-G. Be sure to get that correct. There could be some attacker out there who's giving you the wrong website so that you can download the wrong software so he can steal your Bitcoin. So make sure you go directly to electrum.org to get the wallet software. Then go ahead and click download and you can download the version that's correct for your operating system. I'm running Windows here, so I just went ahead with the standalone executable and that's downloading now. Once that's done, you can go ahead and run the program. Now the first thing that you do when you start up the program is choose whether you want a new wallet or recover an existing wallet. Obviously we're creating a new wallet, so choose that and choose next. Now these words here on this next screen are very important. They're your recovery key. They allow you to recover your Bitcoins if you lose your computer or if it's stolen or if the hard drive crashes or you defenestrated out of anger, maybe you lost a chess game or something. Anything goes wrong with your computer, you need these words to get your Bitcoin back. So I recommend writing them down on, well this is some pretty high tech medium right here. It's very durable, very tactile, low battery usage, lasts a long time. It's called paper. Very, very highly recommended. I recommend writing the words on paper physically. It's much less likely that someone's going to break into your house, find the paper, and steal your Bitcoin than if you just forget them and lose your Bitcoin that way. So don't feel bad just writing down the words. Another trick you can use is to take a screenshot. This is snipping tool. It comes with Windows. You can take a screenshot, pretty much any operating system, and just grab those words right there and then um, email that picture to yourself. It's very unlikely that someone snooping through your email is going to find that with an attachment of a picture of your Electrum seed. So that's a pretty safe way to secure it, but if you ever forget it or lose your Bitcoins, you can just search your email box and get this picture back. So that's another good way to store this seed. I actually recommend doing both because it's better safe than sorry. Once that's recorded, hit next, and now we need to type them in again. This is just for security. Make sure that you have the words. So the program actually prompts you here. I'm going to go ahead and do this. Forget, uh, forget, late, eager, scared, blush, situate, end book, tap, Daniel, bitter, about. Obviously, I'm not going to use this Bitcoin wallet because now you can steal my Bitcoins. You have my recovery key. Can't let that happen. I spelled forget wrong. So it actually grayed out the box. It could see that I can't click next. There we go. The next thing to do is to choose an encryption password just for this wallet. Now this is less critical. If you forget this, you can't spend the Bitcoin, but you can use that key from the first step to just create a new wallet and recover it and then spend those Bitcoins again. So this is just covers spending the Bitcoin once they're on your computer. So I could recommend something that's hard to guess. I'm just going to type something in here blah, 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 and then write that. I'm copying that and pasting it in here. This is good because it's very hard for somebody to guess it and then you just write it on your paper. So this means you always need the paper when you go to spend your Bitcoin. But if you lose it, you can just recover with that recovery key that you emailed to yourself. So VNSP S-E-R-V-S-E-Y 30. Pretty good password, right? So just keep that on a paper somewhere in your house when you go to spend Bitcoin, you need that paper. All right, go ahead and hit next. And now you have created the wallet. I just recommend auto connect here. It's not complicated, but for a beginner, auto connect is just fine. Electrum is now generating my wallet. That's all it takes to create the wallet and you have already secured it. But let me show you a few things to do with the wallet once you've got it up and running. The first thing I want to bring your attention to is the balance here in the lower left. It's zero, that's too bad, but the next part, MBTC, that stands for millibits. That's like one one thousandth of a Bitcoin. It's not too common these days. I like to change that. So go to the tools menu and go preferences and then under appearance you can change the base unit from MBTC to something else. BTC is just Bitcoins. So if you have one Bitcoin, it'll say one. That's pretty nice if you have a lot. But if you don't have so much Bitcoin, I like bits. It makes me feel super rich. I mean, a bit is one one millionth of a Bitcoin. So what would you rather have? 0.1 Bitcoins or 100,000 bits? Obviously choose bits. It makes you feel much richer. Now that that's done, let's load some Bitcoins onto this wallet. So click the Receive tab, the third tab in. And this is what a Bitcoin address looks like. And this comes inside the wallet. So this button over here on the right is the Copy the blue thing that's vibrating there. I don't know if you can see my mouse. That's copying the address onto my clipboard so I can paste it here. So when you want to receive Bitcoins, let's say someone's sending you Bitcoin or you're withdrawing from an exchange or a company, you'd simply put this address in the Bitcoin address spot 
or provide that to the person. And when they send to this address, your client will automatically receive those Bitcoins. So this is the spending address that you'll receive. And here's a handy QR code. If you've got somebody with a camera, you can even send them a picture, this picture, and then they can pay you Bitcoins. That's pretty cool. When you want to spend your Bitcoins, just go to the send tab. Pay to is going to be an address. It looks just like that. Of course, not the same one, because why would I pay myself? That makes no sense. The description box just goes inside this program, doesn't get sent to the recipient. So this is my own description. I have a super loud keyboard. Yes, I do. Thank you very much. I'll send you 10,000 bits because I'm super generous. Now, of course, invalid because I don't have any Bitcoins, but that's the general idea. All right, we talked about how to set up a new Electrum wallet, how to store your recovery key on paper, by email, whatever you need to do to keep that safe, how to set an encryption key so that you enter that every time you spend the Bitcoins. We talked about how to send and receive in the wallet, and of course, how to change that base unit to bits from millibits so that you can feel like you're rich. If you have any questions, feel free to post in the comments below the video, and I'd be happy to answer them. I'm Kronos. Thanks for watching.